All right, Christine, tell us about what the security has been at Mar-a-Lago while Mr. Trump has been president and what can we expect after he leaves office? Well, we had a number of security breaches when uh, the president was in town and not in town uh, at Mar-a-Lago during his presidency. We had, most recently, we had a woman, um, actually an opera singer, who made it through the uh, security uh, checkpoints and uh, did a high-speed chase through all of the barricades all the way down past Mar-a-Lago. Her car was shot at multiple times. She survived, her car did not, and she uh, is entering an insanity defense. She has a history of mental illness. We've also had instances, we had two Chinese women try to get into Mar-a-Lago. Uh, one of them was carrying four cell phones and a USB with uh, malware, infected with malware. Um, we've also had a University of Wisconsin student who was intercepted when he was in the tunnel which connects the club to the beach. We've had other people hiding in the bushes. Uh, so we, we really have had some security breaches which the Secret Service has been somewhat embarrassed about. Now what's going to happen after the President leaves is we are not sure. Um, we've been told that the airspace restrictions that are in place for Presidents will no longer be in place at Mar-a-Lago or they will not be as extensive and as wide as they are now. Neighbors have told me that they have been asked by Secret Service to get uh, identification cards uh, to get in and out of the streets that are nearest to Mar-a-Lago. Their staff has also uh, been asked, their yard people, their pool guys. So it's still developing, but the important thing that our people and our readers want to know about is, is the road in front of Mar-a-Lago going to be closed? We're told it won't be but we will have to see. We'll keep you up to date on that.